Travis Faulkner. This is my What's in the Bag 2016 Team Trilogy. Uh, first off, start with my putters. Put with daggers. I like the zero hard. Uh, the real consistent release for me. I used to like the soft, but now I go for the hard because they just they always stay the same in your hand, even when they beat in. They don't really change. They don't puddle top like the soft ones do. And then I uh, always have a harp with me. Um, before the Justice came out, there wasn't anything that could even compare to the harp. And uh, the harp is just anything for me where I want to throw an upshot and I don't want the disc to skip or move. The soft harp for me will just hit and stick. I've had this one in my bag for over two years and it's still stable. Mid ranges, uh, pretty simple really. Uh, I carry two truths, uh, a verdict and a justice. With the truths, I just have one that's really beat in and I can get uh, really to flip and hold an Anheuser. Um, sometimes I'll throw a Tersus or a Warrant in my bag if I really need a flippy mid range for a wooded course, but in Kentucky with the wind, I really don't need anything less stable than a tree. And uh, the verdict, just when I need something that I know isn't going to do anything, but maybe flip up flat and then still gonna finish for me, I always throw the verdict, really reliable mid-range. Justice just made it into my bag about eight months ago, six months ago. Um, really love this disc. There's, I throw it forehand, backhand, even some cut rollers. Sometimes I putt with it in the wind. Uh, it's a great disc. The stability on it is just amazing. It's everything I've ever wanted, really, in a mid-range approach disc. Fairways. Again, I keep it pretty simple. I carry two escapes, uh, first run fluids. One's really beat. I get to flip, hold an Anheuser, uh, really carve out some lines with this one. This one's pretty new. I uh, got this from a buddy of mine. Uh, I use it for when I need a hyzer shot. And then stepping up, I carry two felons. I carry a uh, first run lucid. It's pretty new, but the first runs are a little bit straighter than the regular runs, in my opinion. So uh, this flies like pretty much brand new, like a beat in lucid felon would. And the fluid felon, I carry this for just the really overstable. A fairway driver, if I might need a little bit of skip, but since it's fluid plastic, it really won't get away from you and flare too hard. Uh, high speed drivers. I usually will work either a King or a Freedom in and out of my bag for a really understable, fast driver that I want to come out of my hand on, you know, like a 70 degree hyzer, but still flip and finish to the right no matter what. And that's what I use a King and a Freedom for. I really haven't figured out which one I like better yet. And then uh, what I always have, I'm always gonna have at least one Trespass in my bag. This one's really beat seasoned. I can get it to go straight. I can get it to hold and carry to the right. I can get it, you know, just to hold hyzer the entire time. I've really learned how this disc flies, so I usually don't carry more than just this one Trespass with me because it's a limited amount of shots I'll throw, especially in the wind here in Kentucky. always will have two worlds with me. I like to carry a beat VIP for like some touch flick shots and really my distance driver backhand. I like to flip it up. I can get, you know, some really good controlled distance with the world because it's still an, an overstable driver. And then I carry an, a new Elasto world in my bag. I really uh, pretty much retire them to a different purpose after they get beat in with the elasto plastic it gets really flippy uh, but i love the new elasto worlds in my bag for about six to eight months at a time for all of my forehands uh, once they hit the ground and flare and skip a bunch they beat, they beat in real nice but a little bit too flippy for what i wanted for forehand so i've started to learn that i can use them uh, for what i use the ip ones for then i always carry two enforcers, a biofusion, and, and a lucid. And the difference is the biofusion, I'll just use the biofusion enforcer when I need something that's a little bit more stable than a world where I don't want to worry about it turning over in some wind or something. But I really don't ever throw enforcers forehand, only backhand. And uh, 
loosen enforcer just my wind disc really uh, I can trust this disc any which way in the wind whether I'm releasing it flat or on a hyzer it's I know it's not gonna get away from me and this one is starting to get a little bit beat so in the near future I'll probably be putting a new one in there a brand new one just to have something really overstable to cut through the wind and that's pretty much what I carry in my everyday bag. I usually carry just like a grip sea line bag, something small, lightweight, or playing in tournaments. I usually carry the uh, Mystery Ranch Mall Hall. I mean, you can fit everything you need in this, plus some extra shoes and clothes if you need it. And, you know, uh, everything that's in this bag is exactly the same as what I carry in this. So, that's, I keep it pretty simple, but it's worked out for me.